Number one, talking about taxes. Your 401k lets you defer taxes. It does not let you avoid taxes. And the amount of taxes you're gonna pay and when you pay taxes are gonna depend on if you have a Roth 401k or a traditional 401k. So let me start by talking about the traditional 401k. If you make $1,000 from your job, and then you put this all $1,000 into your 401k, that means all $1,000 gets to go into your 401k. The money then grows in your 401k for as long as your money is sitting there. And then when it comes time for you to retire, hopefully this $1,000 will grow to say $10,000. You pull out $10,000 out of your 401k. That's when this money is going to be taxed. So you get taxed when you pull the money out, but all $1,000 gets to go into the 401k. With a Roth, it works a little bit different. Now, you make that same $1,000, and you want to invest this money into your 401k. But before you do, you pay your taxes. So now the money is taxed before it goes in. Now, depending on what your tax rate is, meaning how much money you make, you might be paying, say, 30% of this money in taxes. So now only $700 goes into your 401k. So you have less money working for you, but then when you go to pull this money out, you don't have to pay any money in taxes when you pull this money out. So if the $700 grows to $7,000, well now you don't have to pay taxes on the $7,000 because you paid taxes here before the money went into the 401k. So you still have to pay taxes. Your 401k just said to defer taxes when the money is growing inside of the 401k. With a Roth, you pay taxes before the money goes in. With the traditional, you pay taxes when the money comes out. Now, when you're making the decision of which one's better for you, a traditional or a Roth, the main question that most people ask is, well, when I go to retire, what's my income gonna look like? I'm not gonna have a job, so I'm not gonna have much income. So my income is gonna be lower, so my tax bracket is gonna be lower. So because of that, I should pay taxes when I pull my money out, which might work for some people. But for others, that might not be the best analysis because if you are, let's call it more financially savvy, and your goal is to grow your investment income, and by the time you retire, you don't want no income, you want a lot of income, well then you would have a higher tax bracket. Not to mention you want to pay attention to what's happening in the economy as well because we know that our national debt is always breaking new record highs and our government keeps spending more money which means our government has more and more needs for higher taxes which means that there's a potential reason to believe that we will have higher tax rates in the future which could impact how much money you pay in taxes again in the future but you got to pay attention to what you're doing in your personal finances and what's going on in the broader finances to decide what's better for you a roth or a traditional if it was me I would prefer a Roth, but again, I'm not you, and I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a random guy on YouTube. The second thing that you want to pay attention to are fees, because yes, your 401k is costing you a fee. This fee is called an expense ratio. So your homework after this video is take a look at what funds you're invested in with your 401k and take a look at what that expense ratio is, because while it might not seem like a big amount of money, it can add up to a lot of fees in the future. Because this fee that you're paying isn't a one-time fee that you pay today. It's a fee that you pay on every dollar that you invest and every dollar of profit that you make for every year that your money is invested in your fund. And this little fee can end up costing you tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars in little fees that you can adjust just by paying attention to what the fees are. So let me give you a little hypothetical. Let's assume that you're investing $1,000 a month in your 401k, and you're gonna do this for the next 40 years. And let's assume that your money is gonna grow by say 10% a year on average. If your expense ratio is 0.07%, that means when you go to retire, your 401k would have right around $5.2 million sitting there. But if you have a little bit of a higher expense ratio, say that your expense ratio is 0.85%, well now, you're not gonna have $5.2 million. You're not gonna have $5 million. You're not gonna have $4.5 million. You're gonna have around $4.2 million because that additional million dollars went in fees, assuming you got the same return, you're investing the same amount of money for the same amount of time that million dollars is going in fees to your money manager. This is why you want to see what this expense ratio is 
And I hate to tell you this, but many people are paying even higher expense ratios than this. I have seen people paying 1.5% expense ratios. So you can just get an idea of how much money is going into Wall Street's pockets. I want most of this money going into your pockets. So your homework is to go figure out what your expense ratio is and see if you're paying a higher expense ratio are you getting the higher potential returns to justify paying these additional fees? By the way, if you'd like to stay up to date on what is happening in the financial markets when it is happening, well, I created a free newsletter called Market Briefs where my team is working to keep you updated on things like the economy, the housing market, the stock market, crypto, and the global economy into a fun, witty, and easy to read newsletter. You can read Market Briefs in less than five minutes every morning and it's completely free. So if you haven't joined Market Briefs yet, I got the link for you down in the description. Hello. If you enjoyed this clip and you want to continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you got to do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who want to stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter, by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.